Okay, so first of all, I'm going to have a little look at my carrot and I can identify it's orange. It probably has like two shades of orange. Okay, so we're going to create a tone with it. So first of all, I'm going to take my primary colour and my other primary colour of yellow and red and try and match it to the carrot as best as I can. We're going to create two different tones with this, so a lighter one and a darker one. So first of all, so I'm just going to wet my palette with a little bit of water and I'm going to add yellow to that. So when you add yellow and you add red, you will get orange, which is a secondary colour. Okay, for this one, I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. So this is going to be my lighter tone. Okay, that's what I'm doing there and I'm just matching it up to the carrot. Real. And once I've done that, I will move on to mixing a darker cone. You can add, you can add a little bit of brown or different colours just to see if it matches up better to your, your carrot or your vegetable. Okay, so I'm now mixing the darker tone. So this time I'm going to add a lot more red to it. If you want a lot more red, we'll get a different we'll get a different tone. Okay, so we've got a lighter tone for the orange and we've got a darker tone. Okay, brill. So after that, I'm going to place back my carrot. Okay, and I'm going to begin to paint the carrot now of watercolour. Okay, you can see you can see the shadow like we did in the drawing video. Okay. So that that still applies to this carrot as well. So the lighter side, so facing the light. I'm going to paint on with the lighter colour, okay, just down that one edge till about the middle of the carrot, okay. Just doing that now. What I want to do while I do that is get a little bit of water and I'm just going to blend it out slightly, okay, so it's not a harsh line between the light and the white. So then I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply the darker tone of orange, okay, again, mixing it all the way to the centre of the carrot. I'm doing at the moment. Again, I'm going to use a little bit of water just to help it blend together. Real. At this point, my side isn't dark enough, so I want to keep adding that shade of the darker orange so I, so I can build it to what I'd like to. Just building it all the way, making it darker and darker, building on top of it in layers. You can do this with your pencil crayons as well. If you shade very lightly and build it in layers, you can also do this to have the same effect as you would in the watercolours, okay? Be a little bit more difficult with felt tip pens, but you can try and blend them if you can. What I'm doing now is just pushing and just blending the two colours together so it's not just a harsh line in the middle. So I'm just blending them together, making sure that, that part of the carrot's quite dark create a shade. Bro, so now I'm going to mix in a different colour. Okay, so I'm mixing a little bit of green just for the top of the carrot. And I'm going to paint that on. Mixing that all in now. And the next stage, what I'll do is put, put in that shadow a little bit deeper deeper because obviously we shade it in with the pencil but now I want to go over the top of it with some watercolour so how I'm going to do that is again just mix some water in my palette mix a bit of black into it and start from right at the edge of the carrot so that's going to be the darkest part okay and as we go towards the edges we'll get a little bit lighter not too much light but a little bit lighter and how we do that with watercolours you can mix a little bit of water and to dilute the paint mixture on the page and with pencil crayons you would just measure your pressure of your pencil so you'd go really dark near the near the carrot and as you're going out you go a little bit lighter okay for real so you can see i'm just going over it a little bit more with that darker black color darky gray black color and just blend it out you want to be a little bit darker near the carrot and then a little bit lighter as towards you get out okay 